When I was at business, the words no, don't and can't simply did not exist. You always found a solution. But I have mellowed a little out of necessity. I am married to Rose and we have four children. Laura, 35. Emma, 33. Brian, 31. And John, 26. It was a Tuesday afternoon in late April. I met with Professor Huckerson in St. Vincent's Hospital. At the time I had read extensively about MS and was pretty sure I had it. At the end of the examination he said, I have primary progressive MS. I was stunned. I felt I had been run over by a double-decker bus. I was in such shock. It takes a good while for your body and your mindset to adjust. My wife was rocked, and were my children, in fairness, back in 2002 they were probably too young to realize its full impact. I kept a positive attitude. It started to go in 2005 and continue to work. But soon my voice began to deteriorate, which had a major impact on the business, and in January 2006 I realized I had not the health to continue to run the business, and I decided to sell it. I play bridge three times a week which I love. It is a contagious game. If you come first you win 5 euros. <gasps> the news is great that at last medicine exists. It is critical. I attend the MS care center twice a year with the same group of friends. There are 12 of us. In the last three years, three of them have passed. So, the word, critical is an understatement and it's getting new, life-saving medicines made available. I read we are the slowest country in Europe to have new medicines available. Simon, our minister, said last year that the system does not work and needs reforming. It will take time as the HSE is a monster which is a real bummer. The most precious thing in this whole world is life and living as long as we can. So anything that can help to sustain that journey is so, so important. Give me the medicines now before it's too late. 